meetings by media houses. And therefore, this bill gives life to the aspirations I had in that motion. The intention of this bill, Mr. Speaker, is to increase control and oversight over betting and, and gathering and the industry as a whole. However, Mr. Speaker, although the authority has been given a function of receiving complaints, the bill goes short in providing for timelines within which complaints raised should be addressed. Mr. Speaker, I want to draw a parallel between gabbling, the gabbling industry, and the alcoholic drinks industry. The alcoholic drinks industry in this country is regulated and laces substantial revenues for the economy of this country. But on the opposite side, let us look at the harm that alcoholic drinks trade has visited on individuals, families, communities, and society. And although this bill promises that the rehabilitation centers for those addicted to gambling can be built, why haven't we built rehabs for those addicted to alcohol? And therefore, unless this bill is ring fencing a portion of the revenues that the government is raising from this industry to go towards harm reduction. Prevention is always better than cure. This bill is silent on harm reduction on the documented effects of gathering on addicts and families and communities. The government, this government, cannot just concentrate on the revenue side of things. This government has a duty to protect its citizens and communities from the harmful effects of gathering. This government has a duty to prevent large uh, proportions of our population from falling into gathering, into, uh, into gambling. This bill offers no protection for the poorest of the poor. And in fact, this bill moves a step further to entice those who earn below the uh, daily minimum wage to, into gambling by setting a minimum threshold of 20 shillings. If today our communities are crying out of the 100 shillings that our people are being asked to, uh, to bet on media houses, what about when we bring it down to 20 shillings? Mr. Speaker, this bill is short on stopping media houses from conducting gambling business. They say the bill exempts minors from visiting casinos. How do you exempt minors from visiting casinos when radio stations and TV stations have become casinos right inside the living rooms of our families? Mr. Speaker, addiction, be it from gambling, be it from alcohol, be it from drugs, has brought a lot of suffering on individuals, psychological suffering on families, stigma on families, societies, and communities. This bill does not ameliorate any of those effects, harmful effects, that we are all aware of. And therefore, even as there is a proposal to reduce tax, I think we should build in this bill a definite provision for ring fencing a certain percentage of the revenues generated from this industry to protect our people and reduce the harm that is visited upon them by these kind of vices. Are there any lessons learned from the syntax that is imposed and bringing on uh, uh, that has brought about the, 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 the sports fund? The sports fund for years has received money from syntax, yet when we walk around this country, we cannot see the impact 
of these resources. Sports cannot be justified as a way of allowing gambling. Sports is an industry that should be supported to allow uh, talented and gifted men and women in this country exploit their sports prowess to earn the top backs that other sportsmen and women are achieving. We cannot justify the building of sports stadia uh, to allow unregulated gambling. I believe, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, that we must provide an explicit exclusion for the poorest of the poor in this country not to be enticed into gambling, which is practically a game for those who have the means and the wherewithal to gamble. But even those who have had those kind of riches in the past, we have seen them reduced to destitutes through gambling. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, in controlling uh, gambling and the industry, I think this bill ought to link the, uh, the presence and the use of the KRA pin. How can somebody who is not able to pay tax afford to gamble? And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I am proposing that I will be moving key amendments on this bill to ensure that I am providing protection for Kenyans who should not be reward into gambling. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support. MP for Masop. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity to contribute.